Hi, I'm Susan and welcome to Being Mindful. Today I thought we could do a little meditation that you could use when you are about to begin your day at work in particular, but with any sort of time that you want to be present in what you do. So I'm recommending that you have sort of a, a start, start of the day ritual. Not the what you do after you wake up, you know, have your coffee, meditate, whatever it is. But uh, when you sit down at your desk, before you just dive into your email, to have a, a very intentional focus on how you want to show up in your day. So I'm offering some things you might consider in this let's get going ritual meditation. But you could use this to figure out how to do this on your own. And so I invite you to join me in this, see what you like about my version, and then come up with your own. Let's get started. So I'll invite you to find a posture, alert and relaxed. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Take a couple of deep breaths. And notice the abdomen. And see if with each out breath, you can allow the tightness in the abdomen to relax and melt away. Generating a sense of relaxation physically. We may or may not feel calm in our minds at this moment, but we have the ability to relax our bodies and to notice what that feels like. And as we sit down to face our day, perhaps the to-do list really comes to the forefront. And we can picture that to-do list in our minds, but then allow that to fade in the background as we really notice what's happening within our bodies, right? So when the sense of what is coming in the day is in the forefront of our minds, noticing what happens in the body, and really becoming present to the feeling of sitting in this chair, feeling the support of the chair, allowing the swirl to fade to the background. Perhaps rather than focusing on goals or to do's for the day, setting intentions about how we want to be as we do our work and as we interact with others. As we sit in this upright posture, What kinds of qualities do we want to carry into our day? And as we consider each quality, noticing how the body feels, how maybe the posture changes,
allowing descriptive words to float through our consciousness as we consider these ways of being, these qualities of action and how we want to carry ourselves. And if particular things that we're facing rise to the surface, we can acknowledge our mind attempting to prepare us for what is to come and bring the focus back to these intentions that we are setting for the day. Allowing ourselves to feel what we feel and meeting that with an empowering, encouraging way of being. Attending once again to the body sitting in the chair, to feet on the ground, noticing sounds around us, this environment that we're immersed in. We can begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. If your eyes have been closed, you can open them and be fully prepared to face the day that is to come. So I'm so curious to hear how that was for you, what aspects you would keep for yourself and how you would make something like that your own. Just having a few moments before you dive in to be present to your day and figure out how you wanna be. If you want to use my version, you can save that to a playlist so that you can find it easily. And if you're wanting to do this on your own, the trick is to remember to do it. And so if there's sort of a startup ritual that you do, like for me, it's firing up the laptop, turning on the monitor, turning on my lamps. If I can tie this ritual to something I already do when I sit down to start my day, that will help me remember to do it. So I encourage you to figure out what you can tie this new habit to so that you make sure you incorporate it into your day. If you're not already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing that, being part of the community. And a like, a comment, those are always very affirming. Thanks so much and have a great day.